Hi, this is Yann Camus of Bliss Climbing and I want to share with you a failure mode for the Revo. I call this the repetitive unlocking failure mode. Repetitive unlocking is when you fall, then the Revo catches you. So it goes like this. Okay, it opens up on one side. But then if there's enough rope on that side here, as soon as it will lock you and it will relieve a little bit of your weight, then the weight of the rope is enough to unlock it. And then you fall again, it stops you again, then unlocks again. It, it goes on like this. And I've seen one uh, time where a climber describes that this happened to him and he grabbed the the rope right there, the dead rope, so it stopped his fall completely. So, I mean, it would be very unnerving to keep falling, stopping, falling, stopping, falling, stopping. So, uh, I will describe exactly how you can prevent it. In order, when, it's, when the Revo is locked like this, in order to unlock it, you need basically more than slightly more than 20 meters of rope of any size um, being 9.5 or 10.2 for example it's pretty much like 20 meter is the length that would start to be a problem so you don't want more than 20 meter hanging on that side there's a very simple way to make sure that that doesn't happen and I'll show you with my Lego toy. Toy. So that Lego toy wants to climb with the Revo, anchors his rope at the bottom, then back up knots everything. Okay, starts leading. If the complete rope is hanging like this, he has no loop coming off of him. So midpoint on the pitch here for example he has 30 meter of live rope and 30 meter of dead rope so if he falls then that 30 meter will trigger the repetitive unlocking failure and so that's the problem so in order to fix it uh, one way that would be really simple is if the Lego toy just ties in at the end of his rope. So now he's tied at the end of his rope, he starts climbing, so he has three strands of rope coming off of him, like this, and when he is at 20 meter from, from uh, the ground, then he has 20 meter on his live rope, 20 meter on the dead rope, and then the other 20 meter is supported on his harness because he tied into the end of that rope. So if he continues to climb up, it will only reduce the weight on the dead side of the Revo reduce and reduce. So it starts at 20 meter and it will go down and down. 18 meter, 16 meter, whatever. So then he just prevented this repetitive unlocking from happening. And what I suggest, what I've been uh, doing and I like it with the Revo, and you can try too, is instead of tying at the end of the rope, I will tie at approximately 40 meter. So it will be approximately at 13 meter when I go up that there will be a loop touching the ground. And in that case, I would have actually four strands hanging from uh, my harness. So it's a little bit more. It's just a matter of balancing like the how long you want the loop to be under you. Uh, with the Revo, you want a long loop because it has little friction. 
but you may not want an incredibly long loop because that way if it hangs on anything you will have a hard time to uh, go back down uh, and uh, release the rope or just managing the loop from above so it's just a personal preference thing I guess so I hope you enjoyed this video uh, please subscribe to my channel and if you're interested in more rope solo topics go see my webpage blissclimbing.com and you will find an online course about rope soloing it's very complete uh, for free climbing with a lot of different devices you will have all the information about the systems thank you